I looked online to try to find a video that would show how to assemble the Zor Vision W uh, and I couldn't find one anywhere, not even on their website. So I decided to make one for uh, people who would be building them in the future. I was really impressed with the uh, shipping cartons they came in. They were a uh, half inch thick cardboard and um, everything was wrapped individually and it was packed really well. There was no movement inside the boxes. Uh, really impressed with how um, there wasn't a chip or a crack or anything. The thing that was unclear in the directions is uh, is what I'm going to tell you. There's actually uh, there is a third screw, which is a long, just a regular uh, countersunk screw that holds in um, the legs. And um, these two pieces, this this tall screw-in um, rod with the eyelet in it, and the smaller barrel-type screw, this pointy screw, um, really, if you have to understand how they work. Wherever you screw in the, the eyelet screw, it has to face the hole. So if you over tighten it and it looks like it's going to be facing the wrong direction, you've got to kind of untighten it so it lines up with that barrel screw that's going to go inside the eyelet of that rod. I'm going to jump ahead here for a second to show you what I was doing. If it didn't line up, I would put a small screwdriver in and pull it so it was straight. This way, when you go to put that barrel screw in the hole, it will line up with the eye of that rod. But if you've over tightened it, you can't move it backwards, so it has to stay loose. The next page of the manual is going to show an exploded uh, version of what the desk pieces uh, are. And then it goes right into um, step one, which is taking the legs and uh, attaching the two pieces of the legs together. It looked confusing at first, but if you line up the V, it's pretty easy. And uh, these are held together by these screws. These are the ones I showed you that they don't show you a diagram. It's just a long screw with a countersunk head. And um, you should adjust your, uh, your drill or uh, go easy with your screwdriver not to uh, crack these or, or strip them out. Um, they just need a, a quick tightening. You'll feel them squeeze up, but you don't really need to over tighten them. The next thing you have to do is uh, attach piece number three and number four, which are essentially the cable management V that runs the length of the desk. It's really neat. You actually can't see it once it's under there, and it's really convenient. You don't have to wrap them around anything. It just All your cables just sit in there. Um, these are put together using the rod with the eyelet and the barrel screws. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is take that, that V that you just made for cable management and the rear leg support and uh, you're going to attach them to the uh, legs. And uh, you got to load up the, uh, the legs with the uh, pins with the eyelets in them. And then you're going to have to lower the, uh, that uh, cable management piece down. As you can see, it's a lot of fun. You have to line up the uh, the three pins and the dowel pins, which is a little tricky, but just make sure they're all lined up before you push it down. You have to pay attention to these two notches. They have to be facing up on the uh, cable management system because those are going to be where the rack supports click in. Then you can sock it down with the barrel screws. After you put the uh, cable management V in there and it's all socked down, you're going to have to put on the rear support that goes between the two rear legs. Um, be careful to make sure that you do put the screws facing backwards. Um, I initially put them in facing forward, as you can see, but then I had to switch it around later so you couldn't see the screws. And now you should have something that looks like this. In step four, you're going to have to attach the uh, rack rail supports to uh, plank number seven. This is actually going to be the monitor bridge, uh, the top of the desk. Um, just make sure you look at the, uh, the instructions to show uh, the direction of where the, uh, the rails would be. On the next page, you're going to go to step five, which is probably the only really difficult thing in building this. 
because you actually have to take this piece, which has the notches on it, it's actually the top deck of the desk where your monitors would go, and you have to simultaneously push it down into the leg while making the notches align, which uh, it, it wasn't easy actually. And um, it might look a little easier because this is sped up, but um, it, it took a while and there was a lot of profanity. And once that's done, uh, you'll have something that looks like this. But you still have to put the, uh, the other set of legs on the top. Step six is also a lot of fun because you have to line up a lot of things to put that top leg on. So just uh, fill it up with the rods uh, where all the rods go and uh, take your time lining it up before you sock it down. Now in step seven, you have to attach uh, a stringer number 12, which is like a reinforcement for the desk top, which is number 10. Um, which I thought was a nice uh, paying attention to detail. They actually put a uh, reinforcement uh, stringer across the bottom of the uh, desktop, which is actually pretty thick, being a half an inch thick, and it's pretty heavy. Finally, step eight is putting the desktop into the desk, and there's two circular holes at each end of the leg where it fits in and um, it makes it really easy to put it in there in an angle you really have to knock it in there and then lower the desk down onto the final pins that will uh, will screw in in two places i have to say i was really impressed um, by the uh, the build and the quality and the um, how everything just came together there was no pulling any holes um, all everything aligned perfectly and uh, now that it's put together it feels rock solid um, and they really paid attention to detail. There was nothing cheap. Even the rack screws in the rack rails were really heavy duty. I hope this video helps some people out there. And um, if you have any questions, you can just send me a message down below.